Hey guys, welcome back to the channel for my review of episode 3, The Shape of Nia. This episode begins with the ninja discussing the Venture operation and where the Venture is being moved. Jay suggests it could be moved underneath the city in the abandoned subways, so they go there and surely enough, there is a shipment of Vegstone. Mr. Meter shows up and fights the ninja, who are very much out of shape, and then the new ninja come and they save the day and get Mr. Meter arrested. The ninja feel humiliated and begin to fight each other, Jay and Kai specifically, and then Nia appears from some water and asks the ninja to help her get rid of her powers. And the ninja decide to break out Asphira, which Wu is less than happy about. I like that in this episode, we get to see conflict within the team. And Jay and Kai are definitely great candidates for this. Kai is very hot-headed, of course. And both of them were very close, you know, the closest actually to Nia. I like how their fight is developed throughout the episode and how it culminates. I think overall it's a really nice seed. And also I think the action towards the middle of the episode with the Vegstone stuff is cool too. We get to see that it's just these random guys who are selling the Vegstone. And we get to see that it is quite a huge operation. And we get to see a lot more mystery surrounding that. I also like that Mr. Meter appears, probably, maybe for the last time. And then of course the new ninja are definitely a highlight of this episode. This episode makes it really easy to hate them. They are very passive aggressive towards our ninja. They are very condescending and patronizing as well. And I think it's great character development. It's nice to see that the ninja are humiliated by having to be saved by these new ninja. And I think that further contributes to this Jake high conflict in a nice way. The new ninja have been a really cool plot element. And it's been nice to see how the old ninja react to being replaced. In this episode, for example, Lloyd is furious. And anyways, at the end of the episode, we see Nia briefly return. And I like how, you know, they, they think of Asphira. I think that this is a really interesting way to bring Asphira back. And it definitely makes enough sense. She stole Kai's powers, so perhaps she could do the same to Nia. I have my issues with Nia's return, but I don't think that this is an unrealistic part. I also like that Wu is arguably rightly horrified by this idea. And it shows that he is very much impacted by what happened in season 11 and what happened in their past. So I think it's great that Wu is concerned about this and not at all supporting it. As for bad stuff about this episode, I can't really think of much off the top of my head right now, so we'll skip that. Uh, final thoughts regarding the plot, pretty good stuff. I like how this episode develops the Vegeta mystery further, and I think overall it has a nice variety of stuff. As for characters, we continue to see the aftermath of Nia's disappearance, and it is very well done in terms of the impact that it has on Kai, Jay, and the other ninja. Action, a lot of action in this episode, cool stuff at the end with the ninja conflict, but definitely the highlight is seeing the new ninja face off and win against Mr. Meter. It's also cool to see them developed as prepared and one step ahead, you know, they were going to potentially track down the Vegstone buyer if, if not for the ninja's interference. And lastly, Motion, again, as I've said, really exciting developments here with seeing the ninja respond to Nia's disappearance. So my final rating for this episode is a 9.5 out of 10. Of the three episodes I've reviewed so far, I think this one is the best. Thank you for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, share with anyone and everyone you know. Share your thoughts on this episode below, and I'll see you guys next time.